welcome back with another uh, idea today's topic is uh, mig welding and this mig welding topic is coming under welding chapter this whole things are coming under the category of manufacturing process or manufacturing technology let us quickly get into the slides mig welding and uh, mig stand for metal inert gas welding is also we can say that g m a w that is gas metal or welding nothing to worry gas we going to supply it's going to weld metal and it's a arc welding technique so the name holding everything right the name holding everything and uh, for your understanding i have placed two images one is schematic diagram which covering all the parts another one is the uh, image of the mig welding torch first you have to see with trigger 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 is nothing but whenever you pressing metal wire will come out and it will make the arc it joint will be take place the whole things are called as gun or torch there is a nozzle and cover areas will be there through the gap between the cover area or nozzle in between the wire shielding gases will come and it will protect the molten pool i will make a separate clip for what is the necessary of shielding gas flags and other things but right now we will see the mig welding process and its parts now these things are the weld uh, already made by the process and you can see some droplets are uh, coming here this is how the uh, wire is melt and filling the gap and you can see the uh, other side a man holding the mig welding torch you can see a tiny portion of the filler metal is coming it's not a filler metal it's a wire it's a small wire is coming it's a torch and there is a blue color in the left hand side he is holding one wire cutter another one he is holding one trigger as you seen his shirt color is also blue and his uh, hand nearby hand there is an on trigger it's also in blue color when his trigger is on if you are pressing that one the wire will continuously come out if wire is damaged you can cut and throw the wire you can use the fresh wire now it's very important there is a lot of manufacturers are available for mig welding one of the standard and best company is fronius as you can see the schematic diagram in one side the real manufactured component is in uh, not a component it's equipment in other side as i told we need gas yes we have gas cylinder and we need filler wires yes wire spool arrangement is available part number 8 part number 9 is the gas part number 8 is the wire spool arrangement part number 6 is the earth cable and part number 3 is the hose which ho holding the uh, wire as well as shielding gas and if there is no earth cable there is no welding because we need to close the circuit right seven is nothing but the workpiece where we going to perform the weld similarly all the things are available in real equipment also you, you can see there is a control panel with two knobs right the top side wire spool and its control is over there back side you can see the argon shielding gas with pressure regulators right if you have any doubt you can contact me or you can go to the website you can get more details why i am telling franius welding the answer will be in the last slide so stick with me and we will learn lot next so what i told metal inert gas welding or gas metal arc welding refers to this chapter uh, what we are here using we are using a consumable electrode to make the welding that means joining of or pieces so electrode will melt and it will fuse and it will deposit in the gap between the two or piece right and this will make the permanent joint okay so what about these process specifications yes it is suitable for thin sheet as well as thicker job continuous lengthy job also you can perform and uh, highlights i have given it should have consumable wire you can use any material wires aluminum stainless steel copper various categories of stainless steel 304 316l inconel titanium you can use variety of wires with some thickness ranges thing is every machine is manufactured with respect to some thickness wire diameter may be 0.6 0.12 or 1.8 2.4 likewise there is some standards you should stick with the standards 
all the things which i mention is in mm 0.6 mm 1.2 mm right if you have the facility in your uh, laboratory please go and check uh, here we are not using any flux or uh, flux coated electrodes so slag will not be formed instead of slag we are using argon or helium hydrogen nitrogen etc depending on the workpiece sometimes we may go for gas mixtures also co2 plus argon which is good enough to join uh, stainless steel material and if you are going to weld titanium you should go with uh, argon or helium right so what about the automation yes automation is possible semi automatic and full automatic is also possible even though we can connect this welding process with robots and uh, various types of uh, modes of mig welding process there is uh, one two three four modes are available first one is the short circuit transfer i will telling what is short circuit transfer before that i will give one small example through the example you will easily identify let us check in your home in near to me meter or uh, near, near to the main input there is a small flag is available fuse not a black it's a fuse you just take it out and check there will be a small copper wire is connected between one corner to another corner if any short circuit is happen in your home heat will generate this wire will melt so that all the circuits and electric electronics components in your home will be protected so heat is generated if short circuit is occur this is the main concept similarly here also if the i told you when you pressing the trigger that wire will come and it will wire will come up to that you are clear right now when you are switching on in the power source if wire is coming on your start of the welding process wire will come it will touch the workpiece so circuit will be closed what will happen short circuit will be happen so heat will take place it will good enough to melt the metal so it will melt and it will deposit over the weld line or where we going to make a weld this is a simple concept and example for short circuit transfer next one is the globular transfer unlike short circuit here arc will take place and it will melt the wire and it will make one small droplet when droplet is very big they can't hold by the wire anymore so they will not stick due to the gravity force it will come down so uh, this is good enough for flat and horizontal position but uh, not suitable for uh, overhead position okay. next one is you see how it's happening it will come down it will detach and it will uh, deposit over the workpiece right spray transfer means unlike don't imagine that like your body spray it will be spray everything no 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 it's not like this instead of making bigger bigger droplets it will make very small and tiny molten droplets will be produced and these droplets will be detached at any time and it will uh, deposit over the workpiece this is the thing so don't be a big genius to uh, identify that spray means that body spray so it will spray like anything it is not like that the next one is pulse so it's also a spray what is the difference between these two and what is the necessity of creating pulse i am telling if you are going to weld any thicker jobs go with spray transfer mode no sir i have 1.6 mm or 2 mm thin sheets i going to work means just use with pulse pulse is nothing nothing but if you are holding your uh, uh, finger in your uh, left hand near to that arm uh, you, you can get a wrist not arm a wrist you can get one pulse for one second or certain second it will pass some movement blood and another sub few seconds it will hold nothing that means silence and some accents similarly here whenever there is a two currents will be passed over here one is peak current another one is pack current except this mode all the three modes are having constant current only one current will be maintained but in pulse there is two currents will be there peak current back current during peak current that time only welding will take place during pack current there is no welding machine will hold everything so how to control this thing the time matter like uh, frequency is also in one of the parameter which control 
this one and this is very quickly droplet will be detached detached and it will be quickly dried so all the positions we can use now what is mag another allied term mag is nothing but metal active gas welding so how to make the gas actives right by mixing those things sometimes if you need there is a heating element which can heat the gas mixture and it will pass through to the normal welding area along with the torch filler metal so it will increase the performance of the mig welding so what is the new things available in mig welding so students be carefully the things previous slides are explained it is available in all the slide but this is a new things nowhere else if you are go through any research article you will get this type of words i will tell you first one is the cold metal transfer this cold metal transfer this word is patented by franius right so because of that only i have placed franius machine i am not supporting a uh, franius i am not uh, uh, an agent for franius just telling the technology has been produced by them right so this what is it fantasy normally mig welding having huge heat input and uh, not even not up to tick but anyway they are making huge input so this is the disadvantage to overcome this this franius engineers have made one small modification of the torch which will make this low low very very low heat input which is good enough for all the material fusions so this technology is called cold metal transfer there is separate equipment has been manufactured for them if you are asking for mig there is separate machine cold metal transfer that also separate machine but the appearance should be looks like similar they, we have a wire spool we have the power source we have the shielding gas etc and the torch they have some mechanics if you are referring their website they have clearly given by using high speed cameras they have captured how the welding droplets are formed and detached so i kindly recommend my students please go through their website please study that okay the next one is the additive manufacturing very interesting topic it's currently this is the trend previously you can see the plastic additive manufacturing laser based etc but the current trend is wire arc additive manufacturing simply we call wam w a a m this can also easily produced by or achieved by mig welding process i told you automation is possible we can connect this mig welding machine with robots so that you can go for additive manufacturing there's a next level of manufacturing process so keep it in your mind when you are going for final year project you can use these technologies to do a lot now again i have three words for you one is autogenous weld another one is homogeneous weld another one is heterogeneous weld autogenous means base metal only itself melt and it will make the weld right homogeneous means base metal will be joined by using filler metal which is having a similar composition of the base metal heterogeneous means base metal is different filler metal is different in mig welding out of 3 how many of them is possible you ask yourself so except first remaining two can be possible if the third one is possible means there is one more indirect answer also available that is dissimilar joints that means you can join stainless steel and aluminum by using one ca common filler metal that is also possible this type of dissimilar joints are available in car door panel manufacturing if you seen the discovery channels or any other scientific manufacturing channels relating the manufacturing process you will easily identify the usage of this mig welding in particularly in discovery channel they are giving the discovery shoots 3 minutes clips how the tata marco polo bus is manufactured that manufacturing while manufacturing that bus all the joints are made by mig welding with automatic controller that is i think robots they are using so similar material dissimilar material we can weld and thin sheet as well as thick jobs we can weld a lengthy bead also we can make it lengthy job and now weld type of joints and positions so 
i think all the 1 2 3 4 all the five can be achieved by mig welding process in rsw resistance part welding we have some restriction but here we can do all the weldings what about the welding positions i told you all the four can be achieved by using mig welding process because we having automatic and second depending upon the mode we may reach three or maximum four if you going for pulse spray technique vertical overhead also possible that is in d position or remaining three is always possible with remaining modes except the first one globular globular yeah yeah everything is available no problem no problem all the three can be achieved with by using other three in the spray transfer flat and horizontal position easily achievable and the globular transfer also flat and horizontal position achievable vertical position is somewhat difficult to achieve right now general message in connection with mic please listen to this carefully so i have made uh, two uh, pieces of work piece or piece one or piece two by using mig welding process we are going to join so when we started welding it is a base metal it will come metal will be drop uh, come down right after that what will happen it will be filled okay now the cost is coming it's a fusion zone yes i accepted so volume at initial condition without joining or prior to joining you measure the volume of the work piece that is v1 after the welding we having the volume at v2 now the question is what about the remaining volume comparison yes v2 is high when compared to v1 so what type of manufacturing process it is that is my question so if your answer is it is positive manufacturing process how sir and why sir the question will arise from the students i am telling compared to initial volume the final volume is higher so we are going to add some material over here so this is called positive manufacturing process let us take machining okay initial job will be something you are going to do some machining operation in lathe or milling etc you going to remove some material so initial volume will be high final volume will be very less so that is negative manufacturing process so any neutral manufacturing process available yes it is available you can see when i discussing about casting process so general bead profile in this building also we have fusion zone heat bed zone and unaffected base metal when you are going to show us any cross section of the mig welding uh, bead profile you should have these three or if you are doing any btech uh, final project or mtech project when you are going and doing the sample preparation at the end you can see the things like this three different zones thanks for watching